Would it be important for you if you didn't have to worry about these funds or this time off and you were able to travel to explore the world and to experience some more things and to grow as a person? Okay, very good. Right down the line before you forget it. My number one mission is to take sailors and re-energize them, motivate them to, to love what they do, to love the Navy. You cannot sell anything to anybody if you don't like it. Uh, so it's to refine why they love the Navy. Why did they re-enlist for this next three years? Why do they choose to share their story back in their hometown? If you can't find that and establish that here, you're gonna struggle your first six months out there. So our main job, to me, is not just to train them and prepare them for the transition into recruiting, but to take a fleet sailor that might have had a roller coaster ride of good and bad days and let them know that everything in life that's going right with them is because of the Navy and you need to be happy about that. The key here to learning everything that we're going to throw at them is to use your personality, engage them, they feed off of your energy. So you can't stand up on that podium and be monotone and not engage your class. They're not going to pick anything up on that. Not only that, but we're teaching them how to deal with other people. Oh, I can't join the name. Sorry, Sue. Did I get your name? What's your name, Sue? Yeah, I'm her boyfriend. How you doing? Brian. What? Brian? We can't allow them to leave the schoolhouse without their personality, you know, whatever they have to find. So we definitely try to make it fun. We try to get them to compete with each other, similar to what they're going to do in the field. We want to show them ultimately that recruiting doesn't have to be this hard, stressful thing. It can be a lot of fun. It just depends on you as a recruiter. Honestly, the instructors themselves, they're all prior recruiters and their, their charisma, the way they talk to people, the way they just promote a positive attitude to everyone, really, it's, it helps me be more positive and it shows me how to teach people and how to uh, actually act with uh, the prospects and the future sailors. So. A lot of them come in a little skeptical at the beginning, oh, recruiting this long hours, or recruiting this, or recruiting that, and um, and we get that, that out of them in the first week. When they do in-doc week, it's a section that we ask, tell them what you heard about recruiting, what you heard, about. and we turn to clear that. They're still going to be skeptical, but at, by the end of the course, they know the real deal of our recruiting duty, so we take care of that. We come out here, a lot of these sailors, uh, their career is in our hands, you know, and recruiting duty is very, uh, it's a very challenging duty, and it can be, uh, rough for some sailors, so I think if we come here and give it, you know, everything we got and share everything we know and care about them when they go out there, they're going to do a great job and they're going to keep being good sailors, so I feel good about that.